It's a very sad day, really, for all of us, and uh, not just for Palestinians. You know, uh, America has stood for rule of law, for justice, for respect of international agreements, etc., etc. And now we see all of that being pushed aside for the sake of uh, internal political calculations. You called it opportunism, I believe. Well, electoral, uh, electoral issues in the United States, which I think is, is not, uh, not only sad, but it's going to be very counterproductive. It's raised the, the volume of, uh, of anti-American rhetoric, not just in Palestine, but throughout the Arab and Muslim world. It's given impetus to the terrorist groups that have always claimed that America was uh, against the Arabs, against the Muslims. And it allows Iran itself to capitalize on this issue by accusing America of being supporting Israel, etc., etc. So all in all, I think it was uh, a terrible step and, as I said, a very sad step for the rest of us. Does this make the region more dangerous? In your Absolutely. Opinion? Absolutely. You see what's happening in Palestine now. All these confrontations between the Palestinians and Israeli security forces and Palestinians being shot every day. Every day. It's been going on for some time now. There are victims and there are martyrs and there are, you know, just uh, an awful situation. It's not a, a step that is going to bring peace to, to Palestine or the Middle East. When we talk about broken promises, of course, uh, Saudi Arabia and that very, very famous meeting with FDR um, at the end of the war essentially yes. got a promise from FDR that said it, that he was not going to at least vote for the creation of Israel. Then Harry Truman comes in, is trying to get elected, and of course changes that decision. When we talk about broken promises, you're saying that this is, of course, a broken promise from the United States, but also many people are claiming that President Trump is guilty of the same exact thing with this Iran nuclear agreement decision. Not at all. What, what President Trump is de offering the Iranians is a rene renegotiation, basically. Because, let's face it, the agreement is flawed. It concentrated only on one issue of Iranian conduct, which is nuclear enrichment, and left the rest of Iranian politics and interventionism and uh, ambition, etc., um, up in the air. So what President Trump is not withdrawing from the agreement, he is offering to renegotiate and add to it uh, things that will improve it rather than allow it to remain in the state that it is in. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.